What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Meganium in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section of the video. And if you enjoy these, if they help you out, drop a like and let's get into it. I don't think there's too many people that are going to be uh, interested in using Meganium. It doesn't get tons of usage really ever but as you know on my channel i like to consider all different sorts of pokemon so let's have a uh, a look at this now i i've always seen meganim as a nice defensive pokemon so we're going to start off here with a defensive build and sort of work through <laughs> some other builds here now it actually got body press, which is pretty cool. So I thought I'll try and do a set based around that. So looking at uh, Meganium's abilities, they are not that great. So we've got, of course, we've got Overgrow and we've got Leaf Guard. So Leaf Guard obviously works when Sunny Day is active and it can't be status. And uh, obviously, you know, stuff like WrestleFire. So the only bad thing about that is putting the sun up with a grass Pokemon. It's not so good if you're, you're only benefiting from not being status, you know, but... On this set, I've, I've chosen Leaf Guard because this is going to be a bulky set. So I don't want it to be poisoned or anything like that or, or mainly poison, right? So that's why uh, I would probably run this in a Sun team or maybe you don't have to, right? So we've got a defensive set. We've got Max Health and Max Defense Bold Nature. So what I'm doing here is I'm increasing the defense because we're going to be using uh, a main sort of attacking move here. It's going to be Body Press. So body press, we got that 100, uh, we got, sorry, we got the 80 base power, 100 accuracy, and I've got Terra type fighting on there too. So it's going to be doing some reasonable damage. Now for sustain, we've got Leech Seed. That's going to be a very, very handy move on this set. So we can get some uh, recovery back while we're attacking. Uh, we've also got my favorite healing move here, which is going to be good. Uh, so once again, like sort of like works nicely in the sun for both of these things here. And we've also got Giga Drain for more sustain. So... I've sort of made it into a mixed attacker. Uh, so we've got some recovery, and then we've got like... So it's lots of recovery, right? We've got leftovers, Giga Drain, Leech Seed, and Healing Move. So lots of recovery. Um, decent damage with Body Press. Like, Body Press will do pretty decent um, in terms of damage overall with Leech Seed at, at the same time. So... And it's not going to be easy to faint this either, unless you hit it very, very hard on the special special side, of course. Um, it, it can take some... Rep it can take... You know, some pretty pa a bright, like, you know, choice band of brave birds and stuff like that. But it's not going to be taking them. They don't overestimate its bulk too much because, uh, yeah, it's not going to be taking them like super well. So, yes, I would, uh, I would be using my advice for using this sort of set would maybe use it on, um, a, a, like a physical attacker. And if they're trying to, um, you know, if they're trying to set up on you, you could, you know, lay Leech Seed down and start spamming Body Press and Giga Drain. Uh, I'd be very wary against Flying Pokemon and Fire Pokemon. Unless the Fire Pokemon, um, yeah, especially, like, special attackers. Like, Volcarana would absolutely, like, uh, uh, like dominate this, for example. So, I mean, Meganim's got a ton of uh, counters, right? But I found this set actually pretty good. I used it, and it worked very nicely. It was very, very bulky, and um, I even got a couple of Rage Quits with it, too. But it, obviously, it's not without counters. Um, its special uh, isn't gonna, its special defense isn't all you know, that great when you make it uh, very tanky like this. But that's one way of uh, doing a Meganium set, a defensive one, Let's uh, with Body Press. So you want to make sure... Um, I would have a look if it actually has any ways. I don't think it gets Iron Defense. I would have put, yeah. It, I wish it got Iron Defense because you could actually, you could you know, make use of that. It might get Curse. Yeah, it gets Curse. So that's not all that bad, you know. You, if, if, you, if you don't care about Giga Drain, you could have Curse on there too. That is an option. And that would give you... Um, that would give you a, a lot more um, defense then. That would be good. Like, it would give you a uh, really, really high defensive stat. For argument's sake, you could even do this. Like, you could even go, like, special defensive. That could work, too. That's another way of doing it. If you really want to smash it out in special defense and you don't care, um, you just want to get, like, a, a mega special defensive stat and then use Curse to boost up, that could work, too. The only thing about Curse is you're going to be going very slow and it's going to take a while to get those Curses happening. You know, in comparison to something like Iron Defense, so maybe you still want to, you know, keep that, you know, keep that uh, going. You know what I mean? With our uh, bold nature, at least then you can hit very, like, you, know, you can hit Body Press at its fullest, uh, you know, fullest uh, max power. Then, so yeah, that's just something to think about too. It's a couple of variants. Uh, next one we got is a Sword Dance set. So 
I wouldn't call this a very fast Pokemon, 80 base speed, but if you've got any uh, like sticky webs and stuff down on the field there, um, you could give this a go. So we got Sword Dance, which is obviously a great boosting move. Now it also has Bullet Seed, which is really, really good because you can run it with uh, loaded dice. So that'll give you 100 base power right off the ripper there, and it's not going to miss. And you may even roll that fifth one too. So um, that's going to give you 125 base power, which is going to be hitting very hard. Um, you got Earthquake. Earthquake is a must on Physical Meganium because you need that for Steel types. And as for Terra, I gave it a uh, Terra Electric. So I thought that could be uh, just some just sort of like useful coverage. And you could also get around um, being weak to anything but you know, ground types. And, you know, if a ground type's going to come in, well, you can hit them with Bullet Seed, can't you? So it's more of a, like, a defensive Terra type. Um, and also it allows you to hit flying types too. I thought that'd be a good idea to hit flying types. And yeah, that, that's, that's another way of doing it. You could do Terra Rock as well, just while I'm thinking about it. So Rock would allow you to hit flying and ice types. So that's another way of doing it. Plus... Uh, you could get a Sword Dance up versus a flying Pokemon. In fact, Rock's pretty good. I, I quite like Rock over... I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, I'd pick Rock over Electric, actually, now the more that I think about it. So, uh, yeah. So, that would be quite a good uh, Terra type to go into. And, you know, if a Water-type Pokemon come in, like, what are they going to do? You know, you've got Bullet Seed. So, uh, that's going to be a, a, quite a good one. Um, as for ability, I gave this Overgrow. Um, look... Overgrow is not like if you get like on a, a third of a less health, that overgrow bullet seed is going to hit very, very hard after a sword dance. And it's good because you, you, you're going to get a lot of damage from it, especially you get five, you know, if you get all five hits, overgrow plus a sword dance, uh, that's neutral damage. Um, it's going to do a lot too. And super effective, the Pokemon's they're, they're cooked, they're not going to be able to live that. So that's more of an offensive Meganium. Uh, just dump the last little bit in defense or special defense or whatever uh, tickles your fancy there. So we've done a defensive wall, a, uh, a, a physical attacker. Let's have a look at Curse. Oh, I did do a Curse set. Of course I did. I thought it was funny I didn't do a Curse set. So I actually made these uh, these these move sets up a, a, a few weeks back now. I've been meaning to put them out. Um, usually on this day, I always put two guides out. So like two, two, every, two guides on, on every Thursday. Um, so yeah, we've got a, a curse sweeper. So this one is built like, uh, built like a uh, brick. You know what? And we've got max health and max special defense, careful nature. And last little bit in defense. So we've got curse to boost up its defense. We've got healing move, which is going to work very nicely. You could opt to go for rest if you want to. I just like the initial healing of it and not having to rely on rest or sleep talk or a chesto berry and earthquake of course uh, for coverage for steel and fire type pokemon and pedal blizzard so pedal blizzard is a 90 base power and yeah that's going to be hitting uh you know pretty hard too the reason i, I chose that over bullet seed because we don't have the luxury of having loaded dice on there if you want to put loaded dice you could go for it um i like having on these bulky sets i like having moringa berry um, this gives it a special defensive stat rise of one stage hit by, you know, when it gets hit by a special attack, which it will. You know, when you start setting Kessas up, the opponent's going to send in a special attack. So you sort of bait them and then you get that berry boost and they're like, oh, this is very bulky. So yeah, it makes it very hard uh, to get around. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, I've got Terra type ground in there too. So we're going to be uh, getting around uh, any of those uh, fire types. So That'll be quite good. And steel types. You could opt to go for Rock as well. That's another one. Like I mentioned that before, but I, I feel like it'll work nicely with the set. Uh, I ran Overgrow on there because I feel like this set is going to be on low health. Uh, well, sorry, a third of health a lot of the time as you initially set up. So I think Overgrow will be better. Overgrow will be better than Leaf Guard unless you're running it in the you know the sunshine or anything along those lines. Uh, let's have a look at a doubles or a VGC set. I'm, like, I doubt anyone's going to use this in doubles or VGC, but I come up with a pretty decent set, and I feel like it's got a pretty decent amount of promise to it. Now, I'm running this one pretty similar to the defensive wall set, but there are a couple of differences. So, firstly, we've got the item as Covert Cloak, which I feel like is going to be very necessary. So, we're not going to be affected by any other secondary effects. So, you know, getting flinched and annoying stuff like that. That's really, really annoying. So you're going to be going last a lot of the time because let's face it, we've, yeah, we're have we going to get outsped unless it's like Trick Room teams or something like that. Uh, but I digress. So we've got Helping Hand, which is going to be good. So this is this is going to be supporting your um, your ally Pokemon, basically. So you're going to be supporting with Helping Hand Boost. 
Uh, you've got you can heal them with heal pulse. It gets heal pulse, which is really cool. Um, and so we've got body press on there, so it's not just it's it's not just a passive Pokemon that can't do any damage. So that's very important to have that. So you can do some good damage there. And I've got protect on there too. So yeah, that that's I actually think that's pretty solid. I think that's a really really solid defensive for for a Meganium. I think it's pretty pretty dang solid. Now you could run this. I've given it Leaf Guard because you could run it on a Sun Team if if you wanted to, and that way you'd get the benefit of not being statused. If you didn't do that, you could... I mean, Overgrowth doesn't benefit at all because you don't have a grass move. So I would just run that. Um, another move you could run on there too it could be Safeguard. I noticed it got Safeguard. So, you know, you could go full support and do that or have uh, Protect as well. So that could uh, that could definitely be some options there. Um, you could have... You could have Rocky Helmet, Rocky Helmet on there. That could be kind of a nasty surprise for any physical attackers. That could be good instead of um, the Covert Cloak. I, I, I don't mind that one at all. That that could definitely uh, be good too. So, yeah, um, I would probably... <laughs> let's think of some... Let's think of some Pokemon we could couple this with. So, hmm. so sun, for Sun Teams, obviously we want to have a Torkoal, right? So Torkoal's going to be quite good. And we got a, a, a Torkoal to like that. That'd be that'd be activate at least activating its ability, and also with the. I mean, the Sword Dance one. Like just going back to this for a second, I feel like this Sword Dance one might be able to work as well in doubles. I'm not saying it won't work, and if you wanted to do that, you could have. Yeah, uh, you could have Leaf Guard on there, so that would that would uh, benefit the Meganium. So I'm not saying that this wouldn't work either. You might just want to adjust. Um, Ooh, I, I, I'd either adjust Terra... Yeah, I'd probably adjust Terra Blast to Protect. Yeah, I'd probably adjust that to Protect if I was going to do that. Or if you want to keep that, you know, the other coverage you could. So that could work too, the, the Sword Dance set. Uh, if you really want to use Meganium in uh, in doubles and stuff like that. So that that's, that is an option. And you get the Leaf Guard then, so you're not going to be a status. So you don't have to worry about being burned and annoying stuff like that. Um, any Pokemon... Any, let's have a look at some Flashfire Pokemon that could uh, work alongside of it too. Yeah, so I was thinking that's not a bad one. So we've got a uh, Heat Ran. That, that could be good. Heat Ran could be a good partner there uh, with its Flashfire. And, you know, it, it's, it's going to be able to resist any Ice ice moves and uh, Fire moves. Very, very nice. Which, you know, I've, and, and Flying moves. So... You know, what a great partner, you know, that uh, that fire and steel typing. And then, you know, obviously it's weak to ground, so you know, Meganium can deal with deal that more, more so in singles if you're swapping around and that sort of thing. But you could you could virtually put this alongside any setup Pokemon and give them a, a helping hand boost because that could be really, really cool. Um, you've got... It depends. Like, you've got Groudon as well for Sun, of, of course. You've got, uh, you've got Ninetales. Uh, with Drought as well. So you, you've got a couple other Pokemon uh, to use there if you want to. But like I said, I don't think too many people are going to be using uh, Meganium <laughs> in doubles. Uh, have you got any more suggestions? Let me know. I always like to hear your suggestions and stuff like that. Uh, let's have a look at a couple more sets here I made up and then we might we might do a couple other ones. And someone really loud just drove past my house. Okay, we got our uh, Specs. Let's have a look at a spec set. Now, you probably won't ever use... It does. I mean, it does have one more base power, uh, one more uh, base stat in special attack than attack. But boy, oh boy, it is very barren. So, trade specs overgrow, max special attack and max speed, modest nature. Leaf Storm uh, is going to be our most powerful move at 130 base power. The problem is, after you use it once, it's going to seriously diminish then in power. You might be able to get away from a second one, but yeah, you're going to have to swap. Uh, eventually, uh, you got Ancient Power there for any other for flying and for fire type Pokemon, and you've got Giga Drain on there too. I, I I put Giga Drain because that way you don't have to lock yourself into Leaf Storm all the time. You can you know, say the opponent's got uh, you know two Pokemon left. You know you can beat them, but you're not going to go for Leaf Storm because that'll drop your stats. Right? It's better to get the uh, the healing and no stats a drop in special attack. So that's a good way to have. Uh, to go there and Terra Blast Fire. I, I like Terra Blast Fire in my game because this allows you to hit Steel type Pokemon um, and, and change your typing as well. So, you know, another Grass Pokemon as well. So you could definitely have that. That's not bad as well. I was just thinking, that's actually not a bad one on here to have uh, Terra Blast Fire. I was just thinking on this, um, 
on this one here too. On that sword, back to that sword dance one. That's another option too. I, I don't mind. Like Terror Blast Fire works pretty well on um, on uh, a grass Pokemon. Plus, if you're running this in a Sun Team, well then Terror Blast Fire is going to get boosted as well. So you get like not only the benefit for Leaf Guard, but you're getting the benefit for Terror Blast Fire, like getting that extra boost. So um, that's that's going to be quite good too. It, it's I guess you could say it's sort of like a um, uh, a, a wish Venusaur, or a very, very wish Venusaur. <laughs> it is, it's nothing comparable, comparable to a sweeping Venusaur, but yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? So yeah, you got that uh, that spec set. Now, of course, we've got a Pimp Knight special there. Check this one out. So it is a, uh, a special set, and it is a... A set based around the sun. Now, you can have some fun with this. I think this wouldn't be all that bad. I mean, it, it, it's not, obviously, it's not nothing amazing, but you've got uh, Weather Ball, so that's going to turn it into a fire type move, and you've got Terror Type Fire, so that's going to be nice. Um, I put Sunny Day on there. Of course, if you're running on a sun team, you can always opt out to have an, another move on there. I've got Solar Beam, which is a powerful grass type move, so you've got, you know, very, very powerful moves here. And Ancient Power is going to be your way to boost its stats. And if you do get a stat boost, it's going to be it's going to be bulky and it's going to be hitting nice and hard. Plus, you can't get status as well if you got that sun going. But what if what if we wanted to put another move on there? It's special as oh my goodness. Yeah, um, no, I, I wouldn't go for that. I would, I would probably just keep, you know what? I'd probably keep Sunny down there or. You could actually, you could have fake tears on there. So you could have fake tears and drop the opponent's special defense and then go for an attacking move. Or you could have encore. Say they use a specific move and then you could encore them and use ancient power a few times, you know, if they use like a weak move. There is an option. Or just keep sunny, uh, like sunny day on there. <laughs> um, that's another option too. But you've got Heat Rock as the item to extend out that sunny day for eight turns. So you can make use of Weather Ball and Solar Beam to their fullest extent. And yeah, um, I, I think it's, it'll be a fun set for sure. Nothing like super uh, overpowered or anything like that. Let's have a look at Meganium, um, like Meganium's uh, all its moves and stuff like that. Uh, as, as for counters, I mean, it's countered by so many Pokemon. Fire Pokemon, uh, Flying Pokemon. Um, yeah, it, it's not it's not a very hard Pokemon to count. Like Ice Pokemon, it's, it's got a lot of weaknesses. It's a Grass Pokemon, right? So we'll have a look at its status move. It does get some good ones. Um, we're going to have a Curse, yeah, Encore. We've got Lisa. It does get screens too. So this could serve as... I mean, you could serve it as a light clay Pokemon. It would have the bulk. So, yeah. Body press. Yeah. Okay. This is another set. You, like, I, seriously, I'd just go with that defensive set again. That's going to be that's going to be fine. Um... That's going to be absolutely fine for sure. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, uh, you've got that. Uh, you've got Light Clay to extend out uh, extend out those screens for eight turns to set them up. You've got Leech Seed and you've got Body Press Seed. That's going to be really annoying to faint because it's going to be like super, super bulky. So you could set that up and uh, you know come back in maybe later on and set them up again or just initially set them up. So that's another way of doing it as a, uh, a screener with uh, Reflecting Light Screen. And that's that's not bad actually. That that could be a it could find a little niche there on whatever rule set you're playing. Uh, we've got uh, rest and sleep talk, of course. Uh, sword dance, we've gone over healing move, of course. And yeah, we've got like things like grassy terrain and fake. That you, like you got uh, that helping end and heal pole set. Oh, I want to say I actually really like this set. Like it's it's not a bad like if, if you want to give it a go, you should like uh, tell tell if you ever do give this a go, tell me how it goes. Like. I think it'd be good alongside a. It must be an ally that can do some damage, though. That you're, you know, that you're supporting. I think that'd be really, really good. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, I just think that set's quite good. And yeah, you've. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to mention that it does get poison powder, but oh, like it's pretty bad. Like you could have poison powder and leech seed if you really wanted to, but. Damn, it's, like, you, you, you want to make sure you land it, you know, with 75 accuracy, it's not that good. If it had Toxic, then sure, you could have Toxic and Leech Seed. It used to have that in the past, like you could have definitely done that, but it doesn't really have that anymore, so I don't see that as being as, as viable. Uh, let's have a look at his physical moves. We've got Body Press, of course, you're going to be using it a lot. Uh, it gets the Body Slam. It does get Dragon Tail, I have to mention that, so it, it wouldn't be bad. Hmm, 
That would be good on like a stealth, like if you had like spikes and stealth, right? You could make it as a defensive phaser. So like you could have like body press. Hmm, I'd have body press, dragon tail, rest and sleep. Yeah, like let me do it right now. Uh, body press. Okay, and then I'm just doing leaf guard because yeah, um, it doesn't have anything uh, leftovers. This seems just to be the best sort of build for it most of the time. If you're going like defensive. So yeah, I'd go Impish. Now this set would be good if you are running something like, oh, you, look, you could do, you either go Rest. The good, the good thing about this set is you could get like a priority, like you're not gonna get a negative priority on Dragon Tail. So if you get, uh, if you go Sleep Talk and you get Dragon Tail, it'll go right away. So you won't be, you won't be going second. And you can outspeed some Pokemon still with 80 base speed, even no investment. So. That's another way of, uh, of doing it too. But you, obviously, you must have entry hazards on the field. This is more for singles. This is definitely for singles. So you need Stealth Rock spikes on the field, Toxic Spikes. Something like that that's going to make the set worthwhile. There's no point having Dragon Tail otherwise. So, uh, Terra Types. It's fighting, probably. I'd have Fighting on there. Um, yeah. That's another way of doing it So for uh, that kind of set. Let me see if we got anything else here. Like as as I said, for Meganium, it's it's kind of it's very very barren, right? We, there's, you're going to be uh, scraping the bottom of, of the barrel. Uh, it does get, it does get knock off and some other cool moves like that. It gets Trailblaze if you want to try and increase its speed. If you really wanted to, uh, you've got we've gone over Bullet Seed that you could have Grassy Glide with terrain and stuff that could work on you know with Rillaboom or something like that. You could try and do that. Uh, got has Stomping Tantrum for, uh, for Fire type Pokemon and Steel types, but if you, if you don't, if you don't, if you want a singular target attack in doubles, that could work. But yeah, it's uh, it's a bit rough. So having a look at it, I think I showed this well, but that's a special move, right? It's special is one point higher in base, but man, it is. I don't know. Let, let's do a, a Pimp Knight special number two here. Here we go. We've got Frenzy Plant. Let's pop on an eject button. Okay. So what we want to do, right, is we want to get uh, that Frenzy Plan off first. Let's go, um, I really want to run Timid, but I need, I need Modest for power. So we'll go Frenzy Plan. So we get that off. Then we get hit by an attack, which will eject us out. So that way we won't have a turn of like waiting for an attack. And then we can come in and Giga Drain, Ancient Power, Terra Fire it up, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I, uh, and uh, Pip Knight Special Number 2. It's not bad. Like, that could be fun. Making use of the Mighty Frenzy plan. A little bit of a different option to using Leaf Storm. But yeah, eject button. I feel like eject button could could work here. But the, the problem is outspeeding. So like, make sure you do it against a Pokemon. You know it's going to attack. And then you know you're outspeed. So yeah, that's another way of doing it. But anyway, people, I think that's going to be it for uh, Meganium. I, like, I don't see a lot of people using it. But like I said, I like to do every sort of Pokemon and explore them. I feel like this could make a nice defensive wall. Uh, for sure, it's not a bad like sweeper with sword dance in like lower like usage rules and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't, I actually this is probably my favorite set for doubles here. I think that's pretty good. It's a nice support Pokemon, a defensive support Pokemon. So I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think if you try Meganium out. If you've got any other options there for Meganium, and yeah, I, I guess next Thursday we'll have Gen Three, so we'll do like Bla uh, Blaziken and Swampert. I think, and you know, we've got like Sceptile and stuff like that. So we'll have a look at those ones. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like and a comment below, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.